Hey guys, this is like here back with another monsoon review. Uh, today my Toys R Us restocked, so that means new monsoon stuff. Finally, my Toys R Us has the four packs and uh, single packs, and now they have these stock clips. They have the Cortec and the Storm colors, uh, just like the launchers come in Cortec and Storm colors. Uh, still no Auto Strike launcher. Uh, surprisingly, one of my WalMarts had one just like shoved in the clearance section for some reason. Uh, that's going to be a review coming up uh, probably a couple of weeks. So here's the stock clip. Um, just like the cores, the cores look a little bit bigger in the anime. This is much smaller than the anime. So here's a regular core next to it. And in the anime, it's, it's yeah, it's about that big. It's, it's in like the second episode in the very beginning when they go through all the Cortex stuff, and Chase pulls this out. Uh, yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny. So the packaging is pretty simple. It says it holds two cores and ten cards. It's kind of a weird number, I guess. It's got a nice picture of Chase, and then you can obviously see where, like, a different artist drew the hand. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, like, definitely American. The back... It says maximize your monsuno for battle on the go. And it says join the battle monsuno.com up here. As of this recording, there is still no official rules or advanced rules on the website. Seriously, come on. On the back here, it says on the go, attach monsuno stock clip to belt or wristband. Battle ready, load with Monsuno cores in locked position, and cards, sold separately, to be combat ready. And then it says, upgrade Monsuno core storage, connect to Monsuno battle bon bandolier for increased core storage. It's gonna be kinda, I guess that's gonna be kinda like that nerf bandolier they have, where you can just store extra clips and ammo darts. Just like that, and I guess they're gonna just clip onto the front. And the regular stuff at the bottom. So this has no cards or no cores or anything like it. You see right there it says it just includes one stock clip. So let's get this open. Again, with one hand. At least I can say their packaging is really easy to get open. Alright, so... There's the clip. And there is not... No, there is no kind of instructions or anything inside. So here's the stock clip. A little bigger than I looked in the package, but still pretty tiny. Let's see if we can get this little cardboard. It's cardboard on top of plastic. Let's see if we can get that out. I'm sorry for the horrible quality, guys. This is all I got. So here it is. Cortex symbol says the Monsuno logo up top. Uh, the clips are actually a little see-through. It's kind of weird. So it holds two cores in the front. It's got a belt clip right there, which I'm assuming you can also clip to a wristband. It's got the Monsuno logo up here and a little textured part that you very easily pull down. And I guess that's where you store your cards. That opens a little easy for my liking. If that's clipped to your belt, it doesn't look like there's going to be much to actually just pop that open. Huh, that's a little worrisome. Yeah, that opens pretty easy. I don't know how much I like that. So anyways, let's just put some cores in here to see what it looks like. Jeez. Well, the locks, or the core is definitely not going anywhere, lock included. Let's get Evo, since we're doing Chase's stuff, I guess. So there's Lock and Evo on there. Hmm. And I guess you could put them either way, since one side is shorter than the other. But I don't think it really matters that much. So it says it can hold 10 cards. Let's see how many we can fit in here. I think I've got about 20 so far. Oh, it actually does open all the way up to that. So 
So let's see here. One, two, three, four. I like how they actually slide in like that. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, ten gets a little snug at ten. Let's try eleven. Yeah, eleven's fine. Come on. So 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 far I'm at fifteen. This is Okay, 16, it gets a little too tight. So it can hold 16, 15 comfortably, 16 if you squeeze it. So let's close it back up. It doesn't really click or anything. That's, it's not good. So there's the stock clip. Uh, it was $7.99. And like I said, it does come in this color and the storm colors. Um, I guess it's okay if you if you really want to carry your cores with you, but as far as I can tell, that doesn't seem to be a very secure thing. So if you really do want to carry this around, and you're carrying it around by the belt clip, if something just touches that, wow. Okay, might have taken back everything I said. <laughs> um... It's actually pretty secure, unless you move this. As soon as you move this top part here, it's going to open up, because that's the actual lock right here. So, wow, I take back everything I said. That's why you should watch these reviews to the end. Whoops. Okay, so yeah, it's it's actually pretty secure, but that top part's still a little worrisome. If you just barely, uh, if something just barely touches that, it's going to pop open. So, that's my review for the stock clip. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.